Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I, The Crafter. And I've got a bit of a project today, and before I even start explaining it, I need to start working on it, because there's a bit of prep that's going to be a bit boring, and I can talk over the top of it. So I've cut myself some um, tag shapes, two, four, what do I think I had an even number? One, two... Three, four, I do have a six, there you go. Um, I've cut these out of file folder and all I've done is I've put some clear gesso on the one side just to protect them a bit because what I'm going to be doing is something that's slightly wet medium and they're only a file folder and once these are finished they're going to be backed anyway but um, for what I need to do I want to actually tape them together so I can work on them en masse. So I'm going to do that and as I'm doing that I'll explain why I'm doing that. Okay, um, as you know, I um, am part of a Facebook group that's um, called Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Group, which is part, not part, it's run by PM Artist Studio, who I design my stencils for. Now, they have something they do every month. So get that lined up do something they do every month. I can't do this without looking down and of course I can't look down because guess what you're looking down and you're covering my screen. There you go, let's put that across there. Um, they do something every month called the hop. So there's there's a theme in the group and you can either be part of the video arm of it or you can be part of the people who do it without a video group. Um, so there's two versions and basically there's a theme and basically you work to the theme. So what was it last week? Um, last week, I mean last month. I think, I think it was something, something sticks. I can't remember what it was anyway. Um, and I don't normally do those challenges because I can't always guarantee that I'm going to have the time to commit to doing it properly so so I don't normally do them however this month I'm not doing it but the theme sort of resonated with me so um the theme let's just move that up there let's pull these all up in the right way up that's the right way up these are smooth which is smooth that's the smooth okay sorry having a moment um so this this month's theme sort of resonated with me. And although I'm not doing it, um, it sort of fitted in with what I was planning to do in this video. Um, so the theme is um, objects otherwise considered as trash or rubbish to us here in the UK. Now, basically what I've done is a while ago, um, Patricia... Klein Carmichael, who is the P out of PM Artist Studio, was doing a project of her own and she had um, a whole load of scraps left over and she, I think she jokingly said, Kerry, if you want them, let me know and I'll send you some because she knows I do collage. So, of course, I said, yeah, go on and send me some on my next order. So, Patricia did, which was fabulous. And they've been sat near my desk and I've been going, what should I do with them? What should I do with them? And I thought, you know what? This is the perfect time to use them up. So basically we're going to do a bit of a mass make. We're going to make six tags using the scraps from Patricia. And although I would never consider anything that Patricia does as trash, um, it kind of fits the theme really, doesn't it? So, so anyway, um, I am taping these together, these, these tags, and I'm taping them together because it's easier to mass make them if they're one one piece. So I'm just going to get that a little bit closer. Um, I'm also leaving a gap between the tags. Now I know that whatever glue I've got will get pushed through that gap, but it just makes it easier to cut them up afterwards um, with clear lines. So just get this last little bit on this other side. What is it? I clear, I cut my nails and, and again, I always seem to cut them just before I need them. Right, so there you go. I've just used some regular washi tape. It could be any washi tape you chose. I just have a couple of rolls of this and it's sort of a colour I wouldn't normally use for anything else. So I've glued the, them together. So I've used washi because obviously I can peel it off afterwards. But you did hear me say I'm going to back these anyway. So this means... 
this is the canvas I'm going to work upon. Now, because I'm going to be using um, Liquitex Basics Matte Gel Medium, whichever medium we want to use, on the pieces that I'm sticking down onto this, I want to make sure it doesn't go through onto my mat, even though it is my messy mat. Um, I'd rather it didn't get any more messy. So I'm just going to put that on top of a bit of a something that's going to protect my mat ever so slightly. Now, are you in shot? You are in shot. Let's pull the sleeves up because this is where we're going to start working. Let's put this over here. I can actually use that to glue up on. So um, what I've done is I've taken the scraps that I got sent and I went with my trinner, trimmer or my actually my guillotine and I've squared off all of the edges so that basically I know they're all all they've got no torn edges or anything they're all relatively nice and squared off so it shouldn't take long to do this process and I'm just going to collage on here and if if you deem that boring by all means go ahead and fast forward it um, I don't mind I just thought I'm just going to turn the video on and and do this because it's something I wanted to do so put down a good old blob of matte medium now I could have used um, a print stick or some other type of glue, however I didn't, purely for the reason, so I'm just going to have a quick dig through these, it's been a while since I've looked at what I've got here, um, purely for the reason that um, some of these are on cardstock, some have got a shiny back to them, and I want to make sure that what I put down is going to stay put down. Let's see, I'm just pulling a few of the larger pieces out, because I want to start start by doing the main bits. So anyway, this is just a good way of using up scraps. I mean, we've all got scraps hanging around somewhere. I'm absolutely certain of it. So let's just use those few to start with. Now, um, I'm not planning on any particular design. I'm just putting stuff down on them. So my method is going to be, I'm going to come in and brush it on the back of the pieces over here, purely because if I brush it this medium directly on there. I'm going to have loads of sticky bits all over the place and then things are going to get too wet. So I'm going to come in and just start with one. Now I'm going to go over the edges slightly purely because um, what I want to do is I want to be able to trim them off afterwards. Now once I've got a few pieces down I am going to then go and brush over the top of these all just to seal it all down. It doesn't seem to want to stick. It could just be one of those days. But it doesn't matter, I will get I will get it stuck down, I assure you. I just need to put more of the medium on and less of the chat doing it. So on up here come. So get off there, that's not where I want you. Yeah, smooth that up there. Yeah, I think I just didn't put enough medium under the edges of that one. Let's press that down. A little bit under there. That's the only trouble with some matte mediums. The drying time for a matte medium is like now. <laughs> so especially if you're using like um, the Tim Holtz medium. Um, what is it? I think it's called a collage medium. Have I got one here? There you go. Distress collage medium. Can you see that? There you go. That's another brand I use. This dries really, really quickly. So if you're going to put this down, you need to work immediately on it. So... Right, so a couple of pieces of that down. And this is all I'm going to do, basically. So I'm just going to work my way through, get all this down. I'm not sure I'm going to decorate the tags afterwards. I'm planning to just leave them be really contemporary in their look. Um, abstract, if, if that's a word you want to use for them. Um, as you know, I'm actually working on, or I'm going to start work on a gel gel medium. Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, what's it called? A brayer off journal. There you go. How hard was that today? Um, so yes, I'm going to be doing that. So I need ephemera for that. So maybe these tags will end up in that journal. So And yes, I'll probably be making that journal on screen um, for you guys. I just haven't got got a date in mind yet. Um, but I'd like to do it by Christmas because I think I want to give it either as a gift to someone for Christmas or do it as a giveaway to you guys. I'm unsure about that yet. 
So as you can see, because of the gaps, things will stick underneath, but I don't mind that. So there you go. So what else can we talk about? Um, if you're not aware, I now design stencils and masks for PM Artist Studio in Texas. I'm very excited about that. That only, what month is it? Is it October? It is October. Um, it only happened a couple of weeks ago that I launched my very first one, but I am very excited about it. So you can either go to my website, which is www kerry griffiths creative designs kerry griffiths creative it is see i don't normally search my own website anyway if you go into the description box there's a link there if not um you can easily go on to pm artist studios website and you'll find them there the first one is called broken bark um just because i called it broken bark i'm gonna cut this one in half so i want this a bit smaller um so yes, you like you if you go to my website and search Kerry Griffiths Creative Designs products, um, you'll see them on my web page. However, um, if you click that link, it's going to take through to PM Artist Studio anyway in America because they're manufacturing and shipping them all. So whether you go to my site or their site, I do not mind. Um, but check it out; it'd be interesting to see what people start doing with my designs. I mean, there are at least another three going into production this week. Or was that last week? Actually, it might be last week because when I'm filming this, they're going into production. So, um, so hopefully by Christmas, I would like to say there's going to be a goodly number, let's put it that way, out there. So excited about that. I've always wanted design um, stencils and masks because I do use them quite a lot and anyone who knows me knows I've got considerable amount of them. This is moving all over the place. There you go. Why aren't you sticking down? So um, the reason I put clear gesso down first, by the way, was to give something for these pieces to grip onto. But not only that, I did it because Let's just take a little bit off the end there. You never know when a little square of something is going to be useful. Um, I also did it because um, I wanted to put some sort of barrier between the, mic, um, the gel medium and the file folder because file folders are not really meant to be waterproof. I mean, I'm taking a little bit of a risk. i even more of a risk. Let's stick this down. There you go. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I was just putting them on there just to make sure there's a bit of a barrier, something to hold everything together. I have no doubts this is going to work because I use this medium all the time and I like, I like it. Right, let's pull out a few more pieces. Let's pull out this one. This, one, this is copper. I don't know. I wonder what that was. I've got a feeling that was... That must have been a stencil or a mask of, I think it was a fossil of some sort, like an ammonite or something like that. Excuse me if I've just absolutely butchered the name of that, but I'm sure you know the one I mean. Um, so, yes, a little bit under the edges. I seem to be getting bad at putting glue under the edges. Now, when these are done, I do not intend sewing them or anything like that. I'm just going to let them be as they are. We're going to cut them up at the end of this video as well, just so we can see how they all end up looking. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing that with the scissors or I'm going to be doing it with a guillotine. Um, I don't think I lined them up well enough to actually go in with a guillotine. Now, I've been a bit picky in that I've made sure all of my edges and corners and everything are all right angles. So as you can see, they're slotting quite nicely into each other. Uh, you don't need to do that. That's just me being me. Me and my funny moments. Um, I am going to overlap a few, as you've seen already by there. Um, I'm going to put strips in that maybe link over the top of everything. It's quite a pretty one. Not quite long enough for what I want. 
let's find another bit. Sorry if I'm off screen with some of these. I'll try and pull them in occasionally for you to look at what I'm looking at. But that's quite nice. Is that going to go in there? That might be okay. Let's put that one. Actually, it's a bit wide for what I'm looking for. I wonder whether that bit's longer. Oh, it's another piece of the one I was looking at before. Right, let's put that one down then. Um, so what's going on here? Uh, let's see. What is the date? It's about the second week. Actually, probably coming into the third week of October today. So this should go out next week, I think, if my scheduling is correct. Um, winter is definitely heading towards us. I can absolutely tell you. It's darn cold in the mornings. Um, that'd be nice along there. Um, very, very cold in the mornings. Um, I actually fancy I had frost on my car the other day, but everyone else is going, no, you're imagining it. Mm, not sure I am, but everyone to their own. Um, so yeah, time to dig out the woolly hat, the scarf, the gloves, everything I'm going to need to survive winter. I don't mind winter. I am, I'm pretty much... Um, a spring and autumn person. I like those two seasons the best, uh, pretty much because I don't really like the heat. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really a sunbather. I'm not one of these. It. It doesn't appeal to me just sitting around sweating. Basically, oh, a bit more of that. Um, the one thing I don't like about the winter is driving. Um, I must admit, it's. It gets a bit nerve wracking on the roads when it's when it's wet and snowy and and whatnot. So I might go right across there. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, it's not my favourite time of year and I don't like the dark nights. So do I sound like a Brit just continually moaning about everything? That's not my intent. So what else is going on? Um, I'm warming up to go to the NEC, which is the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham. Um, is it two weeks' time? Might be two weeks' time. It might be three weeks' time. I can't for the life of me remember. It's the first weekend of November for me anyway, um, because there's a big arts, arts and crafts um, show there. It's also a big cake and baking show there as well. Um, I think I want to cut this one down a bit, um, but I normally go to, I normally work at those shows, but this year I've decided I'm not working at those shows. I'm just going to take a bit of a time out and just visit the shows and just enjoy them, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it because obviously we did have the shows last year, but they were a bit limited because we were still coming out of the whole COVID pandemic thing. Um, so even though I was working at the show, I just I didn't spend a lot of time there. I basically got in, did my job and left again because I was a bit nervous of of the crowds, per se. Um, but this year, um, I've just decided, as I said, I want I want to go and see the shows. I want to go and see my friends. I want to basically I want to walk around and see what the new products are that are out there. That's something I really want to do especially in the arts and crafts one, because they have some great stands there, some great products from around the world. Um, and then, yes, we can all shop online, but to be honest with you, I like to touch things. I like to feel things and know what the quality is I'm actually buying, or I need to ask questions. If it's a brand new product, I want to stand there and ask the person who's demonstrating it, what are the good things about this product? What are the bad things? What should I look out for? That sort of stuff. And I think I'm like like most people in the world. Well, it's just fractionally too thin. Um, I, I, I value that information. And the only way to get that information is just to ask the questions. And the people on the stand, it's their job to know what they're doing. And I know that because it's normally me on the stand doing it. So, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got a little bit of a shopping list. Um, I need a few more of these mats. Um, I use these, I think they're A2 cutting mats. And I use them, well, you will have seen them. I use them for all my videos. Um, I've got three at the moment. A green one, a black one, and a grey one. I really like my grey one the best. 
uh, purely because when I'm filming, it seems to give me the right colours when I look at it through the screen. I'm going to turn this this way because I'm tending to do stripes and I want to change that up a little bit. Um, so yes, I, I really do enjoy um, these mats. I use them all the time. The one thing I, I am looking for is different colours in them. Um, so anyway, so I'll be looking out for those. Uh, what else am I going to do? I'll stick that in there so it butts up against there. I won't lift up with you. There you go. Um, so I need a few of these. Uh, what else am I looking for? Um, I have been asked by one of my subscribers to do a video using um, the, the mini gel plates. I think it's the square, the round and the oval that she'd like me to work with. Now I don't own those. Um, so it's a very good, good reason to actually go out and buy them. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go out and buy those if I can find them. I'm sure I can. There's usually a gel press stand or someone selling gel press there. So I'm hoping to pick them up. Am I still in shot? Yes, I am still in shot. I'm getting carried away doing this and I'm not actually looking at the camera in the slightest. Um, so yes, I'm looking forward to going and getting a set of those. Um, also gel press just released for the European market, um, an A4 gel plate. So if I happen to find one of those, you never know, I might be convinced to buy it. Um, <clears throat> it wouldn't take much to twist my arm, I can assure you. That's not the colour I want. Let's take that off about there. Um, yes, it wouldn't take a lot to convince me to buy one of those. Um, I can't remember how many gel plates I've got currently, but I never seem to have enough gel plates. Um, I might be becoming a little bit obsessed with my gel plates. Um, if you don't know what a gel plate is, by the way, it's um, a plate for gel printing. Um, some people call it mono printing. It can be done with paints or inks or watercolours. Um, different mediums can be used on it. I, I use them a lot. In fact, that's how a lot of these were created by Patricia because she generated these on her gel plate. So I, I like using a gel plate. I find it intriguing because I never actually know what's going to come off the gel plate when I actually work. And, and I like that a lot because, as you know, I'm OCD. So it means that if I use a gel plate, I can't control that, guys. It's going to be exactly what it wants to be. And when it comes off the gel plate, it's a surprise. And I love the fact that it's a surprise. So there you go. So what else is it? Um, so let's see. Um, at the NEC for the weekend, I'm going to be there. Oh, that's more of this on the go. Um, there's Cake International, which is a huge show. And it's all about cake decoration design and all the products that are actually built around that industry. Or that might not be very nice there. Um, in that industry to enable people to actually do cake decoration and design. Um, there's a brand new show this year called Bake International, which is the baking show, which has just been created for this year for the first time, which is going to be interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to have time to go into it, but um, a friend of mine who's coming with me, she's, she's going to pop into there. So I'm sure she'll give me a full report on that one when she comes out of that. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, there's the Christmas craft show. That's another one. That's one I really want to go to because it's fabulous. If that's where I do most of my Christmas shopping, if I'm going to do Christmas shopping at all. That's kind of where that happens. That's a bit predictable. Let's add, add this somewhere else. Let's just put that across the top. Let's move this over a bit. So as you can see, guys, this is just using up scraps. I mean, all of us have got a scrap box. They don't have to be nice and 90 degree cut like mine are. They could be torn edges. They could be anything you darn well please. So let's move that over just a touch. There you go, that works for me. Um, it's a great way to use up scraps. Even the file folder um, backings I made the tags out of, 
those were also scraps. So I really did do the job here and got as much, much scrap work done as possible. I've got a whole pile of stuff over here. Let's just push this up a minute so I can have a little bit of a look because this pile is a little, it's getting out of control and I need to have a look at what is in it that is appealing to me. Maybe I can eliminate some stuff because I will already have put it down and decided against using it twice. Right, um, a little bit are okay. Blues, I love blue, Ooh, blue and brown. That blue might be used. Um, I've got enough greys on there. I think I've got enough tans. These can be used as accent pieces on other things, right? This gold was lovely. I think I need one more piece of it though. That's lovely, but it's not going on this piece. This seems a bit insipid for what I'm thinking. It's another piece of that. Do I like that better? No, that one's going to go. Um, this is too big. That might be a nice little bit to add in. Am I in shot? I am in shot. That's I liked that piece, so we keep that. I like the red, but then I like red anyway. Um, I could do with another piece of black on there because there's not enough black. I've got got all of these orangey pieces. I think I like actually. What's the variety I've got? That doesn't appeal to me. That's just bronze. Maybe I'll put one of each of those. Let's do those two. So I can always dip back into the other box. It's just there's so much in front of me. I'm struggling to actually see the wood for the trees, as the saying goes. Right, that's nice and dark, but I'm trying to stay lighter. That I'm not keen on. Here's some more of those orange things. Actually, that one's far more interesting than that one, so that one's going to stay. Actually, let's keep both of them. You never know. That one's going. That's interesting. Have I got pinks on there? Let's leave that one out. That's a snippet. That's okay. I'm loving that colour. I think I'm just going to put all of these bits right. Oh, that's a nice bit with vibrant green on it. And there's that other piece that I like. Right, I'm going to put the rest of these. What's that little square? Is that the one I cut off? It is a little square. I'm going to put the rest of these back in, in this box. So they can live to become maybe journal tags, um, journal cards. Maybe I do the same process as this off camera because you've seen it once. I'm not going to repeat it again. It will get a bit boring, wouldn't it? So, right, let's just work on this little area down here. Find something that's a little bit wider. And maybe that's the piece that's a little bit wider. Let's go part way up because I don't want it to be all lined up. That gives me another little square. So, so yes, anyway, so if you are in Britain and you're going to the show, um, let me know in the comments. You never know, you might see me around. I, I will be there. I'm going to be there late Thursday afternoon. I'm going to be at the shows all day on the Friday. And then actually I'm coming back to Wales on the Saturday morning because I have to be here for work that evening. I think I'm going to put that up there. I had to be back home for work Saturday. Oh, am I not? No, I am working Saturday night, I think. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I only have one and a half days basically at the shows. But I think that's more than enough. I go to the show every single year. So I kind of know the layout and I know what I'm looking for. I've got a couple of product meetings as well, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun. I mean, I do enjoy it. It's it's pretty much the one time a year I get to... Do I want that on there? Maybe I do want that on there. Um, it's the one time a year I really get to go to um, a big craft show. Or there's two big craft shows. Um, because I normally go to all of the cake shows because I work at a lot of the cake shows. However, that's kind of changed a lot now since the advent of COVID came in and sort of my business just isn't there anymore. So I'm more artist than cake decorator nowadays, which is fine. I can live with that. I'm more than happy to 
do that. I enjoy my art equally as much as I do um, my cake. That looks wrong. Well, that was meant to go there, wasn't it? I need to put a piece up there, though, because it's going to be a funky size otherwise. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm... There are plans to do more craft shows in 2023. Like I'm, I'm very much considering going to Creativation in America, which I've never been to. Um, Creativation is a big, I want to say it's a trade show for arts and crafts. Um, it's been on my bucket list for a long time, let's put it that way. And I've not got around to going and, and I would like to. So, sorry, I'm just having a bit of a thoughtful moment here. And you were kind of meant for there, weren't you? Um, so, yeah, that, I I can't remember. It There's two, two or three of them in the States, and I can't yet work out which is the one that is the big one. Um, it used to be the one that was in Phoenix, Arizona, and then all of a sudden it popped up in Orlando, Florida. And I think it's in Ohio this year as well. So I'm like, what? Can you stop moving the show around, please? Because I don't know which one I'm supposed to go to. So I'm still struggling to try and find out. But apparently a friend of mine who's going to the NEC this year, who will have a stand at the NEC, um, will know. So I'm going to grab her and make her tell me which one I'm supposed to go to. So really excited. There are a few people I'd like to meet. Um in the arts and crafts world and pretty much they should be at um, Creativation. So one of them is Mr. Tim Holtz. I've never met Tim Holtz and I'd quite like to meet Tim Holtz. Um, another one is Diane Reevely. I very much appreciate what Diane Reevely does. I quite like her style. I like some of her products. So I, I would like to meet up with Diane Reevely. Um, and there's a whole whole heap of people who I can't remember their names because if you know me, you know I can't remember a name to save my life. So why are you not sticking down properly? Or maybe you have stuck down properly. It's just curving up. Right, I've just got a couple of little pieces now that need to go in. Like I need a strip there. I need a piece there. And I need something down there. And I'm looking at this piece thinking that would be quite nice. Do I need it that long? No, I don't. And then I might put one or two cross pieces on here in the opposite way or else it's going to be very, very stripey, stripey. And I'd rather it wasn't stripey, stripey. Now, why am I sticking them on horizontal and vertical? It just works for me. That's why. Um, you could put them on on diagonals. You can do anything you like. It's your piece of art, your art, your way. Um, I tend to do vertical and horizontal because I like the look of it. I, I find that very pleasing to look at. I might put that across there. So, yeah, I don't normally do this sort of video where I just scrap on screen. So hopefully this is okay. I know that plenty of other people do it. I mean, my friend Gail Augustinelli does collage collage in scraps in fact she has a, a thing called scrappy saturday actually it is saturday oh maybe this is my scrappy saturday there you go gail i'm having a scrappy saturday um so um so yes so this is just me playing really just putting stuff out there just having a go that fits perfectly in there thank you very much um great way to use up scraps you could be doing this with anything i mean these are gel prints you could do it with magazine images you could do this with um tissue papers or rice papers or napkins or it's the same process if i was doing this with any other medium other than something that's a reasonable cardstock i'd probably be using a glue stick um just a regular glue stick because if it's a thinner a thinner piece of substance i'm using i will just grab Grab for a glue stick. I find that the brand I use is this brand, Prit, here in the UK. Um, I've never had a problem with it. 
I've not had stuff peeling off, pinging up or anything. Um, I am quite heavy handed in that I do put quite a bit on my pieces. Um, I don't, I'm quite liberal with my glue stick, so I don't know whether that has something to do with it. Um, I would say if you're somebody who uses glue sticks, buy a couple of your local brands, try them out, and then when you find one that works, don't ever change it. If it works, don't, don't mend it. Right, looking at this, it looks kind of okay. It's, it's good because I can't actually visualise the tags anymore. I've got that bit in there to do. And I'm wondering whether that little bit of gold would look lovely up there. I think it would. Let's take that little strip off the end. Now, what I'm going to have to do in a moment is I'm going to have to turn the camera off and I'm going to have to thoroughly dry this um, because I don't want to cut it when it's, when it's wet because that would just be tantamount to a disaster, let's put it that way. Right, so all the bits are on there. This looks a bit unloved. I feel this needs something crossing over it or working in there. I don't want that bit because I had that bit all over the place. That's that stuck in there. It's a bit of something. That's a bit samey samey. I wonder. That's a bit of blue. No, I tend to go for blue all the time. Let's go back to the orange because I did pull out this other strip. Maybe a piece of it vertically would work, just to break that up. Just a bit. There. Oops, I keep touching things and sticking to things. I do think I want one more bit there of something and I'm actually looking at this thinking if I took that white off, which I'm going to do now, I think if I stuck that in there, maybe across there, that would be right. And if I put it on the end of that piece, that looks like it should be there. So I think I'm wondering. This now bothers me. That doesn't feel like the right colour. I don't want to go back to the oranges. I don't mind a bit of that actually. Let's cut, cut a piece of that off. I wish I knew what the whole of this was because that, that's, I find that really interesting. I'll put that up reasonably high. I need a bit more of the matte gel medium. Still in shot. I'm still in shot. I'm doing quite well. For once I can just about see through my iPad as I look down. So normally I can't see, so I must have the iPad in a different position than normal. Hopefully it's beneficial to you guys. Do I want anything anywhere else? I like this bit and I think I'm going to stick him in there. And that will just finish that off for me. Okay, I think, have I done? I'm looking here now thinking I want something different in there. That'd be interesting. Let's put that bit in there. Surprise, surprise, when I cut this one up, I tell you. I'm not sure that's in the right place. That feels wrong. I think it needs to be higher up. There you go. As I said, I'm going for contemporary, modern, whatever you wish to use the terminology for. I'm just trying to get something that's just interesting. Because, as I said, I'm doing the Brea Off journal and I'm trying to make um, modern types of ephemera for it so trying to steer away from the traditional I'm going to, have to put a bit down there because I can see 
Maybe if I cut that down ever so slightly. There's a bit of a patch where that's showing through and that's not really acceptable. Come on up here, come. I can't get it off the board. There you go. There you go, that will just finish that bit off. Okay, um, so yes, I'm trying to do something modern, contemporary, very brightly coloured. Um, these would fit perfectly within the, um, the Brea process for gel printing within that journal. So I am now going to turn you off for what will be two seconds for you. For me. So here I'm back again. I've had the hairdryer on this for a few minutes. It feels dry enough. It's probably not dry all the way to the core, but it's dry enough for what I'm going to do. I've also taken off the, um, the washi tape. Um, and then that was another reason that I was going to back these afterwards. Sometimes with file folder, it the washi tape will pull part of the file folder off if you've put wet medium on the other side, and I fully expected that. But this is dry enough for me to work on. But as I was drying this, I realised I've been talking about things that maybe if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's put that to one side for a second. Okay, I keep referring to Brea off sheets. This is just an art book, and as I create my um, pieces on my gel plate, I clean my Brea, which is a roller, which you put your paint on the gel plate, and I clean it off onto here. Now, my intent is, when I reach a certain number of pages, which I can't tell you, obviously, that was the last one I was working on, um, when I reach a certain number of pages, I'm going to take these out, because these are perforated, I'm going to take them out, then I'm probably going to cut them in half and then I'm going to put them into um, like a journal or maybe a binder or something. And then what I'm going to do is I'm possibly going to decorate them. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you'll have seen I've already made some tags and tucks and pockets and journal cards and stuff. And these are going to join this basket because this is where the ephemera is going for the journal it's going to be. So, so there you go. That's kind of where I'm going with all of this. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realise. I was, I always think everyone has watched every one of my videos, and I apologise. I shouldn't do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. Now, I've pulled out my guillotine. I'm not going to be able to cut everything with my guillotine, but it might speed things up if I can cut quite a few bits of it with my guillotine, because um, although everything's not a hundred percent lined up, why aren't you going under there? Come on, in you go. I should be able to cut the majority of the pieces with a guillotine and just trim them with the scissors afterwards. So that kind of chewed through that, didn't it? Okay, but that's because it's slightly wet, that's all. Right, so I think I'm gonna to have to carry on and cut these with the scissors if the core of this paper is just slightly, slightly too damp. So I apologize, this is probably gonna be a little bit boring to watch, but you can always fast forward it if you so choose. Um, I would fast forward it myself, but I know there are certain people who watch who don't like things fast forwarded, so I tend not to do it too often. Have done it, but it's not something I normally do. So let's just tidy up the edges there. So I'm just trimming off up against the card of the file folder. Just making sure I've got nice clean edges. As I said, I will come back in and I will use a Pritt stick to glue a back onto each of these. I will probably use file folder to back it, to be honest with you, because then it'll be quite a nice thickness. Get that bit off there. There you go. Stuck to my scissors. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to punch a hole in the top of these tags or not. So I'm going to wait until I actually get to work on the journal itself before I decide whether I'm going to put holes in the tops of things. Because for me, when I put a hole in the top of something, it then means I need to put a ribbon or twine or string or elastic or something through that. And I don't know whether that's how I feel I, I, the direction I want the eventual project to go in. So, I don't know. So, we'll turn them all over in a minute and then we can see where we got to. So, 
as I said, do feel free to fast forward. Um, this shouldn't take me too long. Normally, if I was doing this without the camera on, I am in shot, aren't I? Yes, I am. Um, if without the camera on, I would have let these thoroughly dry overnight and probably come in with a craft knife and a metal ruler and just trim them all back that way because I'm a lot faster with a knife than I am with the scissors. So, but if these are just ever so slightly wet, a knife would not be a good idea because it will just drag all of the edges. Now, I did mention that um, another person who does this, and probably one of the first people I saw doing um, scrappy stuff, was actually Gail Augustinelli. So, if you pop across to Gail's channel, give her a like, give her a thumbs up, subscribe. She's a very talented lady. She puts out a new video every single day. I don't know how she does it, because I struggle to put out three a week. Um, but take my hat off to Gail. She does a great job. She's great for inspiration, um, fabulous if you're a beginner, because a lot of her stuff, she will take you right back to basics, or oh, this tag feels really wet, maybe I didn't get them as dry as I thought, uh, take you right back to basics, and she has probably in excess of a thousand videos on her channel now. Um, I, I couldn't even tell you how many videos Gail has got. But you spell Gail G-A-Y-L-E, and I'm probably going to murder the spelling of Gustinelli, but it's A-G-O-S-T-E-N-E-L-L-I, something like that. If I remember, which I should, if you look down in that corner, there's a little grey V, or if there's a description that says read more, I will put a link to Gail's channel in there because I think I've just absolutely slaughtered the spelling of Gail's name. Um, apologies, Mike. Apologies, Gail. So, it's one of those exotic Italian names you've got, and I just couldn't get it right. So, yes, I'll put a link in there. Um, yeah, pop across to Gail. Gail is my coffee break every day. Gail's videos launch approximately the same time I think it's mountain time in America, which I think must be about eight o'clock in the morning because they pop onto my channel. Like it must can't be eight o'clock. Basically, um in Britain her video shows up usually between three o'clock and four o'clock. So I usually at that point in the day stop, have a cup of coffee, sit down and have a watch with Gail, um, and then go back to work afterwards. Right, let's put this in the scrap bin. Um the bits that were left over from this process were in there. This is actually my scrap bin of where all the off cuts go from my gel printing. So as you can see, I do keep them, I do use them. So let's take a bit of a look-see. Um, these will flatten out as they thoroughly dry. So let me just do them. Okay, I like that. I mean, I could put something on there. I'm not going to, but I could if I choose. That's a nice one. Ooh, liking that one. See, very much, oh, let's not line them up next to where they were cut, Griffiths, because that will just really annoy me. Ooh, I like that down the side there. Now, I could come in, if I don't want to put something like um, a focal point on, I could actually come in and use more mixed media techniques, like texture paste or a stencil or just other stuff to go on here. Is that a bit, oh, it's a bit of tut on the edge. Line that up, there you go. Loving that, I, that was a good decision. I'm glad to put that at the top. Am I still in shot? Ooh, not quite, right, up you go. Let's move these, because it's pointless me doing this if you can't see it, isn't it? Well, like that, that's nice and simple, that one. It rests the eye, considering what how busy all the others are. And I like that stripe across the middle of there. So there you go. So those are the six tags I made. Um, as I said, it was the inspiration for this was the PM Artist Studio Facebook group hop. And the Facebook group is Maker, um, Mixed Media Artist and Artist Group. 
uh, or is it makers of mixed media art and artist group? I get that so wrong. I will try and put a link to that in the description box as well, but I'm appalling at memorising things. Um, and their challenge this month was objects otherwise considered as trash or rubbish to us here in the UK. Um, and I think that's good because the file folders were off cuts from file folders. These were all off cuts from Patricia's project so basically i've made something out of nothing and i love them they'll go into this box ready for the next time i work on that journal so thank you very much for joining me guys nice to see you all hope you enjoyed this i'm gonna say goodbye now and i'm kerry the crafter so this is kerry the crafter c-e-r-i the crafter saying goodbye till next time bye bye now